and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. If you have not been here before, welcome to our homestead. And if you have, welcome back. Today I want to just show you another grocery store haul. Uh, of course, if you have seen any of my hauls previously, you'll know that what I normally show are those that those things that I have purchased at a salvage store that's in the town nearest to me that I frequent and I just love going there because not only do I have huge savings every time I go but the people are the nicest folks that you'll find and I want to I want to make a point clear on these videos sometimes I fail to do that and my husband reminds me that not all of you are going to live in my area where you can go to our Benton Dent store. So the savings that you may find in your area could be different. They could be more, they could be less, they could just be different. But um, I, what the point of these hauls are that I do. It's not just to show you, hey, look at all this money I saved, but it's more to hopefully inspire you, to motivate you, to look out there for those savings that are in your area, those that that are going to be around. You just may have to look a little harder for them, and sometimes just asking around will just reap great benefits. So not only will I show you how much I've saved today, I want to also give you some tips on how I use many of these items because sometimes you'll look at those and go, what in the world would you use those for? Uh, I'm going to try to give you some tips on as many of these items as I can and hopefully that'll be a springboard for you to think of your own ideas of how you would use these. And if you don't mind, would you share those down below in the comments? Because it may be things I haven't thought of that I sure wouldn't mind using. So if you don't mind sharing some of your thoughts on how you would use some of these items, I would certainly appreciate that. And uh, I just want to say that in these days and times, everything that we can save, and I say these days and times, any time that you can save money, you know, your money doesn't come easy, so why should you waste it if you can find ways to save it? Uh, I'll give you one reason why it is extremely important right now, <laughs> more than ever before, for me to try to save everything that I can to not only be debt free, but uh, I found out yesterday that my insurance policy at work is going up. Now, I had to call HR to verify that this was correct, but my insurance, my health insurance is going up 925%. Yes, you heard that right. 925%. I thought maybe I had just forgotten my math formulas on how to figure percentages. So I called HR and she went, no, you're right. Um, so, you know, if just one thing coming out of my paycheck has went up almost a thousand percent, since this time last year, what is next year going to bring? So I'm big on being frugal and I just hope that anything that I can do to help you save and help you stretch your dollars more, I, I can do. And another thing I want to do, and I'm sorry, I'll get to this grocery haul in just a moment. Another thing I want to do is I want to apologize I, and I'll do this. If I'm incorrect on something, I will say so. Recently, I'd made a little short video. Just um, I had gotten some information from a fuel supplier who had said, you better start filling up your vehicles and any other 
you know, propane tanks or whatever you can do because fuel prices are about to go through the roof. Well, since that time, fuel prices have actually dropped. I was noticing today in town that fuel prices have almost come down 80 cents since I put that out just in my area. So I don't know what it's looking like in your area, but if anyone out there feels like I misled you, I apologize. I put out that information as I was given it, but that doesn't mean to say that it won't go back up, which, you know, prices always go up and down anyway. So uh, I just want to say I'm sorry if anyone feels like I misled you about those fuel prices, because if I tell you something incorrect, I, as soon as I find out that I did, I will come back and admit that to you because, you know, hey, you're my friends. I, I don't, I, I don't tell fibs to anybody and definitely would not with my friends. So, all right, all of that, now we'll get to our grocery haul. I have my notes here, as if you've seen any of my videos on grocery hauls before, you know that I make notes because I'll never remember. So, the first thing I want to talk about is I bought some Jet Puffed Marshmallows. They had these when I went in the Benton Dent, the very first little cart that I come to that caught my eye was a cart full of marshmallows. Now, people were passing these by, but I love marshmallows. I don't eat just a whole lot of marshmallows, but I do really like marshmallows. But they had them three for 99 cents. Three bags, full-size bags of full-size marshmallows for 99 cents. And uh, they look a little flat. I won't lie to you. See there, <laughs> they look, they look, they almost look like somebody put something heavy on top of them. So they're a little flat. So if you got in there and tried pulling them apart, you can, but um, they are a little stuck together. But I got three bags of these. And the first thing my husband seen them is, why did you buy these? I'll eat them. <laughs> and that's true. Um, but what can you use three bags of marshmallows for other than just eating them out of hand? Uh, well, here's some ideas. You can take this bag, I can cut open this bag, and one of the other things that I've got that I'll be showing you in a minute is a mix for a gingerbread cake. I can take, I've got a, a dish in there that will make a cake that is just about this size. Well, I can make that gingerbread cake and when it's done, while it's still hot, I can cut this bag open and just lay these marshmallows down on top of that and let them melt down onto that cake. Now, if I want a little color on top of that, I can just pop them under the broiler for a second, just kind of let them get all good and bubbly and make them melt even more down onto that cake. And oh my gosh, how great does that sound? Now, if you want to do uh, at Thanksgiving, you know, if you do sweet potatoes and you want to, you know, put marshmallow topping on top of your sweet potatoes, same thing, cut out the bag, put them on there, just let them melt right down on there and uh, you've got your marshmallows. Another option, of course you can always just pull these apart and use them however you want to, but here's another option as well is it, since they're already kind of halfway flat anyway, uh, you can open the bag and then lay a piece of wax paper or um, even a piece of cling wrappers or even this package back down over them and use a roller and roll them out a little more flat then now here here's kind of one of those really thinking outside the box take a cookie cutter or biscuit cutter that's about the same size as the top of your favorite hot chocolate mug and cut out little circles of marshmallows and when you make your hot chocolate, you just take one of those, plop it right down on top of your hot chocolate in your mug, and there you go. 
and uh, then that will melt down into that hot chocolate and make it all ooey gooey. Just some tips. If you have more that you can think of on how to use kind of a little bit of flattened marshmallows, please put that down in the comments below. But I paid, I got three for 99 cents, so 33 cents a piece, and the regular price at the store was 178 per package of these. Now, if you've watched any of these hauls before, I will remind you, and just in case you haven't seen these before, when I give you this is the, the prices on these things, this is the price that I find it. I, I was looking all over the place for prices, but I found that most people will have a Walmart or something similar in their area. And so if I can compare prices for say a Walmart to the prices that I'm getting them for, uh, that seems to be a little bit more consistent. So most of this stuff, every once in a while, I can't find something that was on Walmart, but I'll try to use the prices that I find from there. And so, like I said, $1.78 per bag compared to the 33 cents that I paid per bag just on the marshmallows. This was a new item. I, I say new. I had not seen it there before. It is called Pop Daddy's Pretzels. Let me know if you've ever tried these before. Pop Daddy's Pretzels, but they were a, a garlic parmesan pretzel sticks. Now, let me see where these are made. Well, Pop Daddy Popcorn comes out of Whitmore Lake, Michigan. So, anyway, if you have tried these, let me know. I bought two bags of these yesterday. One bag is almost gone. My husband hit them like a freight train because they, I have to say, I'm not a huge pretzel person, but these are really good. And they were 99 cents a bag. I bought two bags. The price that I found for these online, $7.13. So, I couldn't imagine paying, I mean, this is a 7.5 ounce bag, and I couldn't imagine paying, I, I'm, even if you really love pretzels, that's pretty high to me, but $7.13 per bag, I paid 99 cents. So, I bought two bags of these, so, that was a considerable savings of $12.28. The next thing I got was something else I have never seen before. I keep finding these old El Paso meal kits at uh, Benton Dent, and this was one that I had not seen. It's called a pockets kit, and these are just like, just like little almost like closed in funnels or something and you just can layer your food. I don't know if you can see the examples that they've gave, but they've even showed like where they put a salad or something in theirs. But uh, the, it just talks about you can mix your ingredients and put it all in there or you can layer it up like, you know, like they've done here. But it's a tortilla pockets kit. So it comes with uh, let's see, what does it come with? It looks like that it comes with seasoning mix, the tortillas, which there are how many in this? How many in this? Eight. So there's eight in here, a taco sauce pack and a seasoning pack, which, you know, that's okay. But 99 cents for this, for this whole thing here. And I found them online for three sixty eight. Now I got two of these and uh, there's just the two of us and so these will divide up and make quite a few different meals. So two, I bought two of these for 99 cents. Regular price is three sixty eight a box. So a savings of five thirty eight for both boxes together. All right, you have seen me. I've been I've been grabbing these little soup kits because I keep these under my desk at work and uh, when I want some lunch, I'll grab these. Now, I want to make a note here. I showed you some last time and they were like a cheddar cheese cup of soup. 
I had one of those at work this week and I, ugh, I did not like that. I thought, I was thinking like macaroni and cheese type thing. No, this was like a watery noodle with some fake cheese fla I mean, they were nasty. I didn't like them. I won't eat. <laughs> I won't be getting any more of those. But um, anyway, most of these are okay for a fast lunch. And this, they've been being, and they still are, 29 cents. I bought two of these that are the little chili and shrimp uh, soup, cup of soups. And I bought two of these for 29 cents. Regular price for, I could not find them singly on Walmart's site. Uh, on Walmart, they come in like a case. Well, you know, so I broke it down and it was like $1.49 a piece for these. So two of those, the savings between the $29 and the $1.49 for two of these are $2.40. Now, you know, these are really good if you wanted to make a meal for, well, like I said, it's the two of us. If I wanted to add to this, I could add more vegetables. I can add more meats. Uh, just, you can add to these little cup of soups to stretch them out. Now, I'm sure even that cheddar cheese nasty one uh, could be could be saved by maybe using not uh, not just eating it as is, but maybe uh, gr browning some ground beef and adding that to it, and maybe putting some more cheese into it, I think that might save it, because I don't like throwing out food. If I paid for something, even if it's 29 cents, I don't like throwing it out. So I think it could be saved just by making a few amends to it. Um, so I may try that. The next thing that I have, if I can find what I did with it, here it is, is putting, um, my husband loves just the little cook and serve pudding, and um, it's it's nice little snack if you if you want something quick. But this is a banana cream, and so remember if you've watched the other ones, you know those uh, little pie crusts that I recently had bought. Those little already made. Uh, some of them are graham crackers. Some of them were like pecan crust and things like that. You could cook up some of this, put that in one of those crusts, uh, sprinkle maybe some crushed vanilla wafers on top of it. And I say that as a brand, you could crush up whatever kind of cookies you like. You could use that uh, and make you a quick little uh, refrigerator pie, or you could, you can use the pudding mix in other cake mixes and things. Remember the uh, cake mixes that put on there uh, extra moist with pudding. Well, you can use this the same way. And also, this is not a bad filling between cake layers. Uh, if you th let it thicken up a little bit and put that between your cake layers, this is not bad. You can also use it for a poke cake. So lots of uses that you can find for just single items that can stretch those things and use them in ways that you might have not thought of. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you the price. You get all carried away. Spent 49 cents on this at the regular store, $1.32, so I saved 83 cents. Now, something I'm not going to show you because you know what bacon looks like, but I had bought four packages of Walnut Creek bacon. Walnut Creek is the primary, they have a deli. I mean, I, I always talk about the salvage store side, but they have a, a deli, meat, cheese, you know, fresh type stuff side as well. And Walnut Creek is one of the brands that they carry, and I love Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek is a very good brand. And so I found bacon yesterday. It's the thick sliced bacon, which I like. I don't want to read the newspaper through my bacon. I like thick sliced bacon. So I found it yesterday, $4.99 a pound. Now, we used to, when the kids were younger and 
but we had to stretch it because, you know, right bacon has never been cheap. But I would compare it along the same lines as the right bacon. It's really good bacon. But I found it for $4.99 a pack yesterday, a regular price for even the great value because I try to not go to the highest end thing I can find. So I compared it to Walmart's great value thick sliced bacon, which is $5.99 a pound. I got four packages of that, so I saved a dollar a pound. So I saved $4 on that bacon. And a, another thing that I got, of course, you know, it's hot chocolate season. I say that. I would say it's hot chocolate season other than, you know, you start out the day. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing flannel. I look like a lumberjack, I know. I don't, I'm not one of these little cute girls that look cute in flannel. I just look like I'm ready to go haul timber. But um, we start out the day in hoodies and end up the day in t-shirts because our weather's really wonky this year. But anyway, it should be hot chocolate season. And I found some packets of the Mexican hot chocolate. Um, and correct me if I'm re mispronouncing this, but is it Abuelita? Is that how you pronounce it? Abuelita? My Spanish is horrible you know my english is not much better but my spanish is horrible but it is a mexican hot chocolate now it gives the directions on how to make it cold but i don't want it cold um i would rather have it as hot chocolate and so it has the directions for that as well but this is an 11.2 ounce packet and it's 99 cents and I found it online. It was $3.98 online for this. And I bought three of these because I thought I've got, got kids coming up for holidays and it's nice to have because we'll probably sit out by the fire and, you know, hot chocolate's wonderful to have. And so I was even thinking maybe, you know, hot chocolate bar, uh, set up a coffee hot chocolate bar. And um, so this will work out great. So I bought three packets of these uh, with 99 cents a piece, regular $3.98. So for three of them, I saved $8.99. And moving right along, I found this little muffin mix. It is Pillsbury and it's banana nut. I don't know if you can see there's a glare. Banana nut muffin mix. And you just add milk to it, mix it up. Um, so you, half a cup of milk and it'll mix it up and it's supposed to make how many how many is it supposed to make I think six because it's saying that serving size is two muffins and there's three servings so six muffins so it's supposed to make six muffins um, and it was 49 cents for a pack of these at the store at the regular store would be a dollar twelve, and I bought four of these, so I saved two fifty two. But you know, I won't use all of these just for muffins because you know my husband doesn't he doesn't eat just a whole lot of things like muffins and stuff. But you can turn these into pancakes. You know, just make the batter a little thin and make pancakes out of them. You can also mix. If, if do you like streusel on stuff uh like on top of a maybe make a cobbler with a streusel topping or uh your um what about your sweet potatoes or something with pumpkin in it or anything like that you could make this into a streusel to put on top so this could be used for a number of different things. If you have any ideas on how else you would use these muffin mixes, let me know down below. And something I have been finding kind of, either they're very scarce or they're very expensive, is pecans. Now, if you live in an area where there's lots of pecans, um, I am... I'm so happy for you because I love pecans and we used to live where there were a lot of pecan trees. We do not now, um, but I've been having some problems finding pecans that were not hiring a cat's back. So 
I found these, it's little six ounce packages and it was pecan bits. Now, of course, sorry, I feel like I've got something on my lip. These pecan bits are, I mean, they are pretty much ground up really fine. So some of you may be going, well, I don't want those. Those wouldn't make a pretty pecan pie. My daddy, as he got on up in age, couldn't chew pecans as well. So mama would grind the pecans and put those in pecan pie because it was, he loved pecan pie, but it would make it easier for him to eat. So if you have somebody that loves pecans or pecan pie or anything with pecans in it, maybe they have some problems chewing, maybe, you know, look for the pecan bits because that might work out better. But think of, um, you can make uh, those little pecan sandies and these are already ground up. If you want to make um, any candy, like candy balls or anything that you roll, even cookies that you roll in pecans, these are already ground up. These could go in, in cookies. These could, uh, you know, these, these little ground up things save a lot of time if you're, if you're needing something to, uh, with little pieces. And not only that, but you could take, if I were through it, you know, you could take these two, you could take the banana nut and you could take these little pecan bits and you could make them into a streusel together for on top of uh, one of your sweet potato casseroles or something like that. That sounds pretty good. Okay, now, this next thing, did I tell you how much that was? I don't think I did. The pecans, I paid $1.99 for that six ounce of pecans, which is cheaper per pound than I can get pecans at any of our local stores. And those little packs of pecans like that, I priced them, had to go back and confirm that I was looking at the right thing. I paid $1.99 online, they were $6.49, and that's for one pack. So for four packs, I saved $18. So considerable savings there. The next thing that I have, if I can pick them up here, I just, I, I try to not buy things because they're cute, because if you do, you'll end up with a whole bunch of things that you don't know what to do with. But I was talking about making a hot chocolate bar, and I come across these over there near the hot chocolate, and it's like, oh, that would be perfect for a hot chocolate bar. But these are called Candy Fetty, and they're, <laughs> they call it hot cocoa decor. It's like, <laughs> sprinkles is what I would call them. But I got three different types here. They were 49 cents for each one of these. And this one is a double chocolate. Let me just see. I don't think I can get it, a good picture of it there, but there you see there's little marshmallows and there's chocolate sprinkles and there's just all kinds of cute little things in there. And look at the little coffee or the little hot chocolate cup on top. Um, and then I got a peppermint one that is really pretty and colorful. And then I got, juggling here, I got a gingerbread one that has all types of little gingerbread men and all types of things like that in there. But it's called Confetti, or not Confetti, Candy Fetti Hot Cocoa Decor. So gingerbread, double chocolate, and peppermint are the three flavors I got. I paid 49 cents a piece online. These were $2.98 each. So all together, I saved $7.47. These will go on the hot chocolate bar that I plan on putting together. So not only are they cute, but they will serve a purpose because I don't like buying things, no matter how cute they are, that serve no purpose. All right. This is, it's called a chicken pot pie meat sauce and seasoning kit. It is pot pie weather, guys, or hopefully will be soon. But um, I love chicken pot pie, but this is just a little, uh, just a little seasoning pack. Like I've told you before, 
this stuff can all be made from scratch, but every once in a while, it's nice when you come home from work just to grab something out of the cabinet, cook it up, and there it goes. So 49 cents is what I paid for this. Regular $1.47, I bought two of these, so I saved $1.96 for both of those together. Cholula wing sauce. Now, I make, uh, I make a wing sauce, my own version of it, that I use uh, Louisiana hot sauce. It's kind of got that little vinegary taste. Louisiana hot sauce and butter. And that is normally, if I make hot wings, that is the sauce that I use. And I may throw in some extra garlic because we, we really like garlic. But this was a... Uh, a Mexicali cilantro lime wing sauce here and I can use it for wings or because wings have gotten they've gotten pretty high themselves so I don't get many wings anymore but I could still use this and make a uh, use chicken breast or uh, anything that I want to make that's along the line of a buffalo sauce type stuff. I could use it for that. Uh, also, I, it probably would not be bad just as a hot sauce on beans or whatever. Even though I've got all kinds of hot sauces for beans, you know, I don't turn down any hot sauce. Love it. But uh, this was a $1.49 for this, for this uh, container. Normally $6.90 for this. And that's pretty cotton picking high. But it's 12 ounces, saved 541. Now, I know that I've talked about this before, but in case you have not seen me talk about this before, a lot of these containers that I get are glass because I will reuse this either with my, say, my own hot sauce, or I make a lot of tinctures and oils. And this type of bottle, it just attracts me. It's got a good wood lid on it, and it's a, a nice shape, and it's got a good heft to it. So these type of bottles, uh, not only will I use the contents in it, but I will reuse the bottle itself over and over again for uh, different things that I make around the house. So... There is that. Now, something I like keeping around here, of course, th again, this is something you can make yourself, especially if you grow tomatoes and chilies. Uh, but I, again, like just having something I yank out of the cabinet and there I go. You know, I've got canned stuff I could yank off the cabinet and do the same thing, but these are really good. It's already mixed together. It's already in about the same size of a, uh, amount that I would need for most dishes and I paid 99 cents for this Rotel tomatoes and let's see the regular price online $1.36 so I bought two of these which saved me 74 cents not a massive savings but again it is anything that you can save if it's pennies Anything you can save, you can then have to, to use towards something else. Hopefully, paying off debt is our, is our goal. I bought, my husband loves peaches. Him and John Wayne, <laughs> he loves peaches. So, I found in these peaches, uh, it is a 29.1 ounce can of peaches. So, pretty good little amount of peaches. $1.79 is what I paid for them. And people are always concerned about whether things are in date or not. This can, and the, again, best buy. These are best buy dates. Not a, the minute the date hits, it's expired and you can't ever eat it again. These are best buy dates. 131 of 2025. So even though, you know, it's at a salvage store, this is still in date, and even if it wasn't, even if it was 2-1 of 2025, this would still be fine to eat. It's best buy. Uh, if something says expires 
well, then you might want to check it a little more closely. But if things have Best Buy dates on them, a lot of times that just means that if you go two, three, four years over that, the quality may be diminishing over time. But there, mostly things are not just totally unusable at this point. Now, peaches are another ingredient that you can use, uh, think peach cobbler. Remember I was talking about streusel earlier? You could use a streusel over a peach pie. You can save this syrup that comes off of these peaches. A lot of people just pour this stuff down the drain. You can save this syrup. I like it, I have to admit. I like it nice tea. I love that peach flavor, but I, you can use it as a syrup and a tea. You can uh, use that. You can make a poke cake and kind of pour that over it. You can use it as a replacement in pancake recipes uh, for your liquids, and you can use it as a replacement for anything that calls for a liquid that you'd kind of like a peach flavor to. So, Think of other ways that you can use even the liquids out of this stuff, uh, even canned vegetables. You know, most people just pour that vegetable juice off of there. If you save that vegetable juice in some type of container in the, fr in the freezer, you can use that in soups and things later on. So, you know, try to think of ways that you can stretch and use everything because you're paying for that. You're paying for that liquid as well because that's part of that weight. So why not use it? Figure out a way to use it instead of pouring that down the drain. Uh, you know, it's uh, just think of it. You're pouring that money down the drain. So try to try to figure out how to get around that. Now we love popcorn, and uh, normally we just use butter or regular oil or whatever to make our popcorn you know we don't we don't have to make a lot of popcorn because again it's only two of us but we i found this it's the theater butter flavored oil blend and it is 199 for this container it's a 13.75 fluid ounce so almost a pound of of uh, butter oil and at the store is 464 so I've got two of these, so I saved five dollars and thirty cents, and you know this will make us quite a few buckets of popcorn. As a matter of fact, I think we were talking about sitting around outside a fire this after or tonight. Now, when my husband talks about sitting around the fire, I automatically think our fire pit because we do have our rock fire pit out here. No, that wasn't what he was talking about. We've got a bonfire built in the back. and <laughs> Maybe I'll snap some pictures and post those later, but uh, maybe I'll make some popcorn and we can take out there and eat popcorn and sit around the bonfire. Now, the next thing that I have here is a brownie mix. Now, I know if you've been seeing my videos lately, you've been noticing I've really been stocking up on these mixes, which we don't eat a lot of cakes and stuff, but if we've got company coming, I want them to have, if people just drop by, I want to be able to serve them something, or at least offer. I mean, they may not want it, but at least I can offer. But I have got a fudge brownie mix here, and it is 79 cents for this Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix. Regular price, $1.94, so I saved $1.15 on these. And brownies, you know, you can take so many different things, even these little sprinkle things that I got. You could let the kids sprinkle those on top. Uh, you could let them um, serve this up. This is another idea is just pop into my head. This is another thing. You could bake this and put... A layer of those marshmallows on top of this. Marshmallows and fudge brownies. Oh, drooling, drooling. Yes. Yes. And gingerbread. Now, this is a gingerbread mix, and it says cake and cookie mix. So, you can, and it's even got the little recipes for the little, little gingerbread man, if you want to make the gingerbread man. 
but you can also, like I was saying with the marshmallows, you could do the same thing with this. Um, but I just want to, I just want to say something. I, these mixes are really good. I really like them, but I'll tell you, my mama in the winter time would make gingerbread. Now we're talking, it would be in her cast iron skillet it would rise up it would be it'd be the size of a cake of cornbread but that was the best i i wish i had whatever recipe she used i don't but that was the best gingerbread i have ever put in my mouth and maybe it's just because it was mama but i don't think so because i've eaten other people's gingerbread i've eaten this gingerbread i've eaten the gingerbread i fix and i'm sorry it's just not as good as mama's was but Gingerbread is another thing. You could take this, make it thinner, make gingerbread pancakes. So lots of different uses for a lot of different things. Now, let's see, talked about the gingerbread. Oh, I got uh, just grabbed up this. I grab up the random icing frosting. I always call it icing, but this is cookie dough flavored. Um, I never had cookie dough flavored ice or ice cream. I've had cookie dough flavored ice cream. Never had cookie dough flavored icing. But uh, you know, you could use this on any of your any of your baked goods that you're making this time of year. Uh, if people are really into cookie dough, um, I don't know that I'm really into cookie dough. I would just I'm, I'm sure I'll use it for something, you know, especially if you're going to potluck things, you know, having stuff like this, that, that last minute potluck, oh my gosh, I've got to take something, you know, you grab a cake mix, you grab your icing and there you go. But uh, this cookie dough flavored icing was 99, I'm sorry, I am just all over the place. Let me finish this and then I'll go back. This was 99 cents. I found the regular price, and I, again, sometimes I look at these regular prices, and it's like, that can't be right, but it was $5.80, so $4.81 difference in the prices of this. I just, I couldn't imagine paying, we'd be eating cake without icing if it cost $5.85 to put icing on stuff. Back to the gingerbread, I, um, uh, I got to talking and forgot to give you the price. I paid 79 cents, regular price $3.44. I bought two of these, so I had a savings of $5.30. And also, it shows on the top of this. I forgot to say so a while ago, but yeah, you can just put powdered sugar or anything, even you know, just serve it with some ice cream or whipped cream or whatever. It you do not have to get fancy if. Uh, if you don't want to. Your kitchen, your rules. Now, you've seen me get this before. This is that uh, Frederick's Classic S'mores dessert topping. And I've told you again before what you could use this for. You could put this in a fondue, uh, you know, a little fondue container and put out a uh, fruit. You could put out uh, marshmallows. You could put out little cookies. You could put out a lot of different things and use this for a fondue, for a dessert, you know, for a dip. Uh, it would also be good on s'mores. It would be good in coffee, and I know that for a fact because I've used this in my coffee. You can use it in coffee. Uh, I think you could thin it and use it as a uh, to pour it on top of cookie bars or on top of a cake that you just want, you know, a drizzle of something on. You could use this in between cake layers uh, as a filling in between. I just thought of something. What if you took some of this and you took like a raspberry filling and you, like a raspberry jam, you know, on one side of a cake layer and then this on the other side of the cake layer and put that in between and then have that chocolate raspberry flavor thing going on. Oh, that sounds so good. Anyway, <laughs> I paid 99 cents for this. This was the last one I seen. So 
I, I think I wiped them out. So I got the last one, $5.69, regular price, $4.70 was my savings on this jar. Something I got, and I think I, I really think I'm going to drink some of this tonight before I go to bed. No, it's not hard liquor or something. It is a nighttime soothing sleep tea by, I don't even know how to say that name, P-U-K-K-A. Don't know how to pronounce it, not going to try. And it says, after a long day, let relaxing sips of soothing lavender, dreamy valerian, and oatmeal, or an oat flower act as nature's pillow. Um, I don't know about y'all, but with this time change, I will go to bed. I'm sleepy by seven o'clock. I'll try to make myself stay up till nine and I'll go to bed and at midnight, I am wide awake. I have to get up and thank goodness I'd got that book about heaven here a while back because, you know, I've been taking trips through heaven to make myself sleepy so that way I can go back to sleep and hopefully get some sleep before I have to get up. But um, hopefully this will help. It's a nighttime soothing sleep tea, organic, and there's 20 little tea packets in here. I paid $2.99, regular price for this, $8. So I saved $5 and a penny on this little pack. And like I said, I think I will, sorry, that's the driveway alarm. I, say, I think I'll try to try some of that tonight. All right, I have my skillet here. Uh, you've seen me get these before. I got the, the snickerdoodle flavor last time. I picked up three more of these. It is chocolate chip cookie mix, and it's got a little, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little flat skillet in here. And you can give it as a gift. I guess you keep it as you say, for yourself, but it will cook your, uh, you can fix your little cookie mix in the little skillet and serve it right there. I think these would be, you're fixing to hear a bunch of noise coming through. My husband's moving equipment. So you may hear rumbles in the background. We're not in the thunderstorm, that's what that is. But $2.99 is what I spent Regular price on these, now this, you heard this last time, $16. So I bought three of these. So for three of these, I saved $39 and a penny. All right, moving on, flour. I don't know why I brought this in here. You know what flour looks like. But I got a sack of all-purpose white lily flour. I love white lily. White lily makes up some really good baked goods. And uh, I got the white lily flour, and <laughs> I paid $2.49 for this sack of flour. Now, I was thinking it was going to be like, uh, I'm going to put that down, it's kind of heavy. Uh, that's five pounds of flour. I thought it was going to be kind of like it was last time. I got the self-rising. That's just uh, the all-purpose. But the self-rising that I got last time, I think regular price was like $6 and something, so I was thinking, well, it'll be about the same amount of savings, but still saving. But I looked up, and again, I double-checked myself if something just seems off. But for the self-rising flour, the white lily self-rising five-pound flour, the price that I found on it, $16.94 for five pounds of flour. I would not be buying it if that was the regular price that I was expected to pay. So I saved $14.45 on five pounds of flour. I would never thought I'd have seen the day that you'd save almost $15 on a sack of flour. We're getting close to the end, folks. Bear with me. Chick-fil-A, turn it up. The Chick-fil-A, um, the Chick-fil-A sauce, I don't know if any of you eat at Chick-fil-A. I don't really eat at Chick-fil-A, but I love this Chick-fil-A sauce. And it was 99 cents for a 16 ounce container. I paid 99 cents, regular price 3.98. So I saved 2.99 for this container of this. And it's good, I like it not only on um, sandwiches, but I like it on fries. Uh, I like it on a lot of things. So this uh, little sauce is it's pretty good. 
I bought, and I like, I love stir fries because stir fries, you can use up all those little bits and pieces in the refrigerator for meals, you know, to stretch, especially, you know, of course you put it in rice or noodles. Rice and noodles are what our ancestors have been using for generations to stretch meals. So, you know, it only makes sense that, you know, we add a little bit of something else to it and call it a stir fry. And I like finding different types of oils to make stir fries. And I found this one, it's called Pressed. And it's stir fry this way, and it's this one is safflower and sesame oil, and it makes kind of a nutty stir fry. And the price on this was $2.99. The normal price was $6.47, so I saved $3.48 on this. And here's something. Hold on, give me, give me a second. All right. <laughs> I buy this. I do not have any young children in the house, but I keep this stuff. Every time I come across a good price on this, I buy it because I use this just as I would powdered milk in coffee creamers or recipes that call for milk because we don't keep a lot of fresh milk around here just because we don't drink a lot of milk, but I love milk, but yeah, my husband don't drink a lot of milk and I don't want it to go to ruin. I, I will can it though and use it that way. Sorry, I've got a door squeaking in the background, so just bear with me. All right, but this I use as creamers and for recipes that call for milk. And I paid $9.99 for this container. This is a, I think, 56 ounce. Yes, 56.3 ounce container. And the regular price, $22.98, $22.98 for this. And that saved $12.99. And this will stretch out quite a bit. And I found it to be quite a bit cheaper than my powdered milk prices that I've seen at stores. Now, I do have to admit that I paid more yesterday for an item. I, I won't go get it out of the freezer, but I paid more for an item yesterday that if I would have checked my prices, would have known prices, but I really wasn't expecting to get this yesterday. But I found this at the Benton Dent. It was leg quarters, and it was a 10-pound bag of leg quarters for $12.50. Um, I use leg quarters. I mean, we'll eat leg quarters around here, but I also, uh, I don't know if you've seen my video on where I make uh, uh, Pepper, who's our black lab. We make her food. We cook her food rather than buying the dried dog food because that doesn't seem to agree with her tummy. And uh, I use whatever meats that I can that are the least expensive and leg quarters seem to be it. Sorry. Leg quarters seem to be it lately. And I, but I paid $12.50 yesterday for a 10 pound bag of leg quarters. When I was comparing the price yesterday evening, I realized that I guess leg quarters have come down in price lately. I don't know, but I found a, a 10 pound bag at Walmart for $7.72, a 10 pound bag. I can't tell you what the quality would be on it. I don't know but $7.72, so I actually lost $4.78. Now, as I've tried to tell y'all on these before, if I make a mistake or if, you know, I don't save money or whatever, I will admit to it. So $4.78 is what that, uh, that mistake cost me. So I would have saved $175.21. Now, I, I'll tell you how much I spent yesterday. I spent $79 for all the stuff. Now, remember, I got multiples of most of this stuff. So, just what I showed you is not all of it. But I spent $79 at Benton Dent yesterday. I would have saved 
at least $175.21. But I made sure that I subtracted the money that I lost from the leg quarters. So I'm saying that I saved $170.43. Okay, $170.43. You've heard the different tips that I have the different suggestions of different ways that I may use these things. I may come up with stuff totally different. There is no telling, uh, but I do know that all of these things will be used as well as that extra $170 that we were able to keep in our pocket rather than giving it away to somewhere else. And we supported a local business and local families that are more than willing to provide us with products at prices we can afford. So I hope that you're still here with me and that I haven't bored you to death. If you have any suggestions on how to save money that you want to share with others here on Mountain Patriot Homestead, please give a shout. If you need to ever contact me by email, if you'll look down in the description, I list my email down there. I don't check it every day, so if I don't reply to you immediately, don't give up. I will I will rep reply. I may not be able to talk, but I can write. But I will reply to you. And I do hope all of you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Love y'all. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out. Mm -hmm.